Welcome to this week's shooting show. I'm Chris Parkin and I'm on the farm in North Yorkshire using the new Sauer 100 stainless XTA rifle in 308. The Sauer 100 Stainless XTA is available in 223, 6.5 Creedmoor, 308, 3006 and 300 Win Mag. Its stainless steel construction with black polymer stock is designed to fend off all weather conditions. A rifle that is a serious functional tool for a job without any additional visual embellishments. It begins with a 15 by one thread for a moderator on a 22 inch 560 mm cold hammer forged barrel with a 1 in 11 inch twist rate. This makes it ideal for mid to heavyweight 308 projectiles and physically longer copper bullets. The free floating barrel has a fine bead blasted finish with 17.3mm muzzle diameter on a rifle of 3.1kg, 6.8 pounds overall weight and 1065mm or 42 inch overall length. The magnum cartridges are slightly heavier with a longer 24 inch barrel. Magazine capacity is 5 plus 1 and 4 plus 1 in the magnums. Sauer use a breech ring system in the action for three lugs to bear upon. A single raceway is machined into the left side of the bolt ensuring smooth, fast travel which is virtually impossible to jam. 60 degree bolt lift opens the action and cocks the firing pin with minimal force required on the 60mm handle creating little disruption to your aim on fast backup shots. Twin sprung plunger ejectors are seated on the push feed bolt face ensuring enthusiastic injection after assured extraction from the chamber with plentiful leverage. Safety catch operation shows forward for fire, middle for safe with bolt operation and rear safe with bolt locked. Operation is quiet and bullets are not marked or scored in any way as they slide up the feed ramp from the magazine which is a great design. Tough and quiet with no marring of the brass cases and easy to load in or out of the rifle. One of the things I really like about Sauer stocks, and it's not so noticeable on this one because it's only a 308, but the cheek piece and the comb actually slope slightly uphill. Now what that means is that when you shoot the rifle, it disjoints from your face ever so slightly. So rather than it being angled like this and pushing in, it's angled like that and pushing out. It's not such a big deal on this 308, but on the 300 Win Mag, it's very noticeable and very beneficial. The bolt shroud shows a black cocked action indicator which is also tactile for use in the dark. Scope mounting is handled by any long action Remington 700 compatible bases and I fitted a Britannia long action Picatinny rail using the four T15 Torx cap screws making the rifle great for night vision too. The single stage trigger is adjustable from 1000 to 2000 grams and on my review rifle broke consistently at 1150 grams when applied to the 9mm wide smooth curved trigger blade. This is ideal for a hunting rifle, likely to be used in all seasonal and inclement weather wearing gloves, for which there is plenty of space within the aluminium trigger guard. The magazine fits snugly in the action and there is a recessed forward release catch to allow it to drop straight into your waiting palm. The flush fitting Sauer magazines are utterly reliable and can be reloaded in or out of the rifle with fresh ammo pressed in directly from above. It's a great design, tough and quiet without any marring of the brass cases. The soft touch polymer stock features moulded in checkering for extra grip. There is well anchored stud under the forend for a sling or bipod and similar one underneath the butt at the rear end of the rifle. Reach to trigger from the back of the grip, depending on exact hand position, is 80 to 85 millimetres which is excellent for a sporting rifle. The grip itself has a slightly open radius with an ambidextrous palm swell. 
The find is stiff and there are no noticeable points of impact shift between bipod or more dynamic shooting positions, with the fully free-floating layout performing as advertised. At once every 11 inches, the barrel twist rate is a little bit quicker than is needed for 150 grain bullets and a little bit less than is needed for 190 grain bullets, but the rifle is future-proof because it shoots the copper bullets well, which although not physically heavier, are physically longer. The comb slopes slightly upward towards the heel with 60mm recoil pad offering 365mm or 14.3 inch length of pull without any spacers fitted. The XTA also has an adjustable polymer cheek piece rising to 35mm above the stock if required. Twin pillars support it without any wobble or rattle and the position is locked effortlessly by a single 25mm triangular dial. It matches the rest of the stock perfectly, with all edges and corners chamfered to avoid snagging the stock, which is otherwise ambidextrous, but no specific left-hander is available. Removing the twin Allen screws either side of the magazine well reveals a 10mm nut on the front stud, which requires a slim spanner or thin-walled socket to remove. This allows the rifle to be removed from the stock. Once removed, the action lifts out, showing its front stud to be the main anchoring point within a machined aluminium bedding block, bonded into the polymer injection mouldings mechanically webbed structure. Sauer supplied a Minox ZX5 scope in 3 to 15 by 56 specification, which is ideally suited to any UK stalker with large objective lens and usable magnification for fast shots in dim woodland to longer hill shots with more time at hand. At 3.1 kilograms and 1,065 millimetres long, it fits into your lifestyle for when you go hunting. It's fine over your shoulder, it balances well, it's good for improvised shots, and of course, when you're climbing in and out of tree stands, things like that, you don't want a super long barrel, so the 22 inch barrel is perfect for that reason. I bore scoped the rifle on arrival and saw fine details of the hammer forging manufacturing process, and just a little residual copper from the proving process, which was easily cleaned before shooting. A three round group is enough for me to decide on a sporting rifle, even if the magazine is 5 plus 1, and that is the usual promise manufacturers adhere to with factory ammunition. The XTA achieved the magic minute of angle with most weights from 150 to 180 grains, yet as always showed ultimate preferences. Here for 178 grain Hornady ELDX Precision Hunter ammunition. I was also happy with the all copper 165 grain GMX bullets which also achieve minute of angle standard in the 1 in 11 inch twist rate barrel which is a good compromise for a future proof sporting 308. The Sauer recoil pad is 60 millimetres thick and it's grippy so it locks into your shoulder and it's not too thick and spongy which would make it feel awful when you're trying to shoot prone. I'm a big fan of the way these recoil pads feel and they're just rounded off enough to stop them snagging on your clothing when you shoulder them. Recoil was well controlled showing only mild muzzle lift with a moderator fitted and the firm grippy recoil pad remained planted in my shoulder. The stock avoids reverberation through recoil and the light cheek piece's form-fitting shape slots under the cheekbone without lateral jaw displacement. There is plenty of checkering for grip and the forehand has enough space without fingers wrapping onto the barrel. I found the grip dimensions ideal for a secure feeling with a well-proportioned reach to the trigger blade.
Sauer have clearly made a careful decision on what to make for a rifle based on this marketplace. Number one, it's been made as a tool, not a toy, and it has no additional visual benefits that it doesn't need, nothing that is absolutely not functionally required. And being stainless steel, it gives you all the corrosion you need for the UK climate. Being a polymer stock with very little resonant noise on it means it's tough, it's durable, and it doesn't affect you when you get it out cold, damp, wet, anything like that. The forehand is big enough to get your fingers wrapped around. The barrel at 22 inches is an ideal weight because you get good velocity still out of 308 ammunition and the larger ones as well. I'm not a big fan of 20s. It's okay on 308, but on faster catchers, I'm not so keen. The bolt action itself is extremely slick, extremely smooth. You'll have seen on camera just how fast it operates. And I can't personally make this one jam unless I really try deliberately to push it out towards the camera. Reach to triggers, perfect. And there's plenty of grip here with the inlay checkering panels. I really like the adjustable cheek piece. It's a slim fit and of course the slope on the sour means it nestles right under your cheekbone and it doesn't displace your jaw away from the stock. The rifle has got a slight palm swell, so it's ambidextrous. There isn't going to be a left one available just yet, but you know, we'll keep on, keep on to sour on that one. You never know, maybe one day. The Khan character and mid-weight make it an enjoyable rifle to shoot if you do use it on the range and especially when you want to set up test ammunition and verify your ballistics because everybody wants to shoot long range these days and frankly if you're going to shoot longer distances you have to spend quality time setting up your rifle, practicing with it, testing your ammunition and making sure that when you dial in clicks you get them correct. Through the whole test period there haven't been any snagged reloads and ejection has been positive and forceful every time. Accuracy is everything I could want from a stalking rifle, measured with three round groups at 100 metres. Pretty much everything I have tested has gone sub minute of angle, which is of course the golden figure these days that everybody wants to achieve and all the manufacturers want to assure. But like any rifle, it had its preferences. Thank you for watching the show. I'd like to thank all the show sponsors and especially Sauer for the loan of this 100 stainless XTA rifle. Please like, subscribe and follow the channel so you're assured to see the new videos every week. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.